What's up everyone? Welcome to the video. Today we're going to take a look at how to change the cabin air filter in a 2019 Ram 1500. And I'll put a link in the description box of this video to where you can purchase these cabin air filters if you're in need. So the cabin air filter is located behind the glove box. In order to get to it, we need to open the glove box. Then if we take a look on the right hand side, we see this dampening cord right here. What you want to do is grab a hold of it on this side. And then also there's a little plastic piece you can see on this side here that you can get your finger on. And we're just going to pull it down and then it's going to come out this way. And then once you have it out of there, you can just let it go and it'll retract up into there. Now what we need to do is get the glove box down and there's this little tab right here you can see, the little stop that's hitting it. So what we need to do is push up with this hand, push up on these, this part and I'm going to push in on this part and then allow it to come down just a little bit. Once we get that one passed, there's another stop that's a little harder to see over here. And what I'm going to do is get both hands, this one takes a good amount of pressure, I'm going to push with this hand, I'm going to push with this hand and kind of pull with this hand. And then that allows that to come down and it'll come off the hinges like that. That's fine. Now let's take a closer look up in here. So taking a look up behind where we just took the glove box out of, we see this item right here that says airflow on it. That's the access door to the cabin filter. And there's two clips, one on either side that hold it on. And this is actually easiest if you do both these clips at the same time. Um, I'm going to do them one at a time just because it's a little easier to film. But if you can, if you do them both at the same time, it comes off a little better. So that clip will push in like that and then pull off. Come over here. Same thing. Once we get that access door off, we see our actual cabin filter right here. And I don't have this filter right now. I'm going to have to come back to it. But when you put your new one in, make sure you're paying attention to this airflow. You want the airflow going down towards the floor of the vehicle. Airflow going down. And then once you have your new filter in there, you reverse everything we just did to close it up. We'll snap this access door back on. And you can line that up too with the airflow. You want the airflow going down. Snap that into place. Once you get that access door back on, we can put our glove box back on. Um, so we're going to line these hinges up with these notches on the bottom. Set them on there like that and just set it on there. And then what we want to do is reach over here and grab this dampening cord and just pull it down and hold it over like this out of the way and just hold it over we, and then just close your glove box and those stops will clear. And then we need to come back over on the right hand side and attach this and we'll just reverse what we did to take it off. We'll just put it in the bottom of that notch and then let it slide up and that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you could take a second to like and subscribe, it helps us out and I'd appreciate it. Thank you.